Hey guys, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.TV. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about podcasting. Ever since Apple came out with their own podcasting app, which is this purple one down here at the bottom, I've found myself uh, really kind of disappointed and uh, unhappy with trying to work with this. I felt like it's uh, a little tricky and unclear. Admittedly, they've gotten a little bit better since they started and there's been some updates, but... Um, for the most part, I find it kind of this weird, like, what am I looking at type of thing where I'm trying to figure out things and I don't know what these buttons mean. I guess this is video versus audio. So today I want to talk about the solution that I've found that I've, I've found to be much better. And uh, that is this second one down here called Downcast. Today I'm going to take a look at Downcast and uh, hopefully we can take it see some reasons that uh, you might find it useful as well. So if you go to edtech.tv, uh, you'll see some of the reasons why I think podcasts are so great, um, especially even in an educational setting. You can use them for your classrooms, you can use them for professional development, there's so much great information out there. Uh, but today we're going to take just a look right at this at downcast, it's this red one right here in the top row. Uh, obviously, I've got a list of kind of the silly podcasts and the comedy ones that I listen to sometimes, um, but you can find any variety of podcasts here, and I like Downcast a lot because it's real simple. So here, if you look at this icon row at the bottom, you can see the little download icon there that says podcasts. This is just the list of the actual podcasts that I have here. Um, you can create this one called playlists. I actually haven't done very much with this, but you can uh, you can create your own playlists of things. Really nice things, straightforward, simple. Add podcasts. So this button right here, you can either add podcasts manually by the top one. You can search for podcasts if you happen to know which one you want. Um, and then there's all this list of top podcasts as well. So uh, you might want to go into, for example, education. Uh, really straightforward, takes you right into into your choices here. So, you know, you might be into Grammar Girl, Quick and Dirty Tips for Better Writing, uh, Spanish, TED Talks, all these things. I mean, you can bring them right into the classroom. It's so cool. But uh, one of the nice things about being a teacher is some of these, you know, you listen to them on the drive on your way uh, right to work, and then you bring it right into the classroom as soon as you're out of your car. Um, I'm going to show you quickly how to search for a podcast. Uh, pretty straightforward should you already know what podcast you're looking for. So I'm going to say uh, one of my old favorites is Hardcore History. Um, hit search and it comes right up as the very first one, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. So if I click on that one, um, it gives me some information about it, uh, his, his write-up about it really great podcast um, and I can either choose at the top right here I can choose to subscribe or down at the bottom I can choose to view the different episodes here I can see this list of episodes uh, about the cons in the Mongol Empire uh, you can take all these different choices I've got this little red or uh, not red this uh, information button if I click on that it'll tell me about the specific information all the little details that I want to have or don't want to have. Um, I can choose to download these. I can choose uh, to subscribe to the entire show, like I said up here before, and I can continue to search. Let's say that I did want to choose to download just one episode of these, probably uh, Wrath of the Cons, the first one. All I have to do is click on it, and I have my choices. I can either download it directly onto my phone, I can choose Mark for streaming so I can stream it later, or I can stream it right now over my network. Um, I like to download and have them available whenever I want because I don't necessarily trust my network to be working all the time. So I just click on download and it starts to process it and then it goes right into the download feed. So if I go back, you can see down there in the bottom it says downloads one and uh, I'm going to have this it's a hundred megabyte file it's pretty big so make sure you have some space for your for all your downloads but uh, there it is it's downloading right into my queue okay so as this wraps up we can see it going from the download queue and then it's done I can click back on the bottom left here at podcasts 
and I can see that I've got the uh, the episode right here. All you have to do is tap on it, and you can listen directly to it. So here we are in the play screen. Um, one of the things I really love about this is right here at the bottom right, you can see where it says, for me, 1.5. You can choose how quickly and what speed you want it to play at. Uh, so instead of taking a long time, you can play it at 1.5 times, 2 times, 3 times, half speed if you want. Um, I like 1.5 because it's a little bit faster, but it doesn't stop my brain from processing the information. Uh, then you just hit play. Anyways, um, that's how it goes. You can change the different speeds. You can loop them uh, with this bottom left here. You can either have it repeating or not repeating. Um, at the top here, a <laughs> really nice little thing, you can see it goes back 30 seconds, back 15 seconds, forward 30 seconds, or forward 2 minutes. Um, a lot of podcasts kind of have these standardized times of, hey, here's my little commercial time at the beginning and... Uh, this really helps for skipping right through some of the stuff you're not really interested in hearing. Not that you shouldn't listen to the commercials because they are supporting some of these uh, podcasts and, and maybe make it worthwhile. But sometimes you need to skip forward, sometimes you need to skip backwards, and they have these really convenient amounts of time right here. Back on the actual podcast screen, you can see these little choices down here at the bottom. Uh, we'll start off with the information button. Obviously, it's what it seems like, but check out this at the bottom left here. There's a little share icon. So you can either copy the information about it, send out an SMS if you have a friend or students uh, who should be listening to a certain podcast, send it out by Twitter, and more. This little list icon right here brings you the choices to delete, mark all as played, so maybe you listen to it but not every second uh, you might mark as played, or mark it as unplayed so that you know that you got to go back and listen to something again. Finally at the bottom right you have the little cog, that's their settings. Uh, the nice thing right here is this gives you settings directly for this particular podcast. So let's say you have one podcast that you want to download 10 episodes of, but another, ep another podcast that you only want to download 3 episodes of. You can use these settings in here to do that. Um, you can set up things for uh, new episode actions. You can see right now I've got obey global settings. Uh, that's the default settings. But I can go in there and I could say, hey, if there's a new episode, I want to make sure it downloads the new, all the new ones, or only the most re recent ones, or you know, mark all new for streaming. Whichever ones I want to do, I can change it up however I want to do it. And that's a really, really nice flexibility that you're not going to get on uh, some of the other apps here. Okay, so speaking of the settings, coming back to uh, the main screen, you can see this last button on the right. You tap on it, it says More, and it gives you options for settings, tools, iCloud Sync, and Help. Let's take a look at the settings. Uh, here's my recommendation. Set it up for Wi-Fi only. Keep that on. That means that it's not going to use up your data plan to download new episodes. Uh, it only does it when you're in a Wi-Fi network, which will save you money in the end. Uh, you can schedule it for however long you want, every 3 hours, every 24 hours, um, only when you log in, uh, at certain locations if you want to do it that way. Um, for the new episode actions, you can say download most recent. This is what we were looking at before. I, like I said, I like to download them because I drive through tunnels sometimes, or you know, I might have a situation where I'm not in a very good uh, reception area, so I always like to have it actually on my phone. Um, Episodes to keep, this is really nice. This is the main function um, for how many episodes you actually have on your phone. I just do the last three unplayed. So if I happen to listen to more or less, it'll change it, but it'll recognize which ones I haven't played, and then it'll download and keep those ones on my phone. Uh, going back to automatic downloads, like I said, Wi-Fi only. Uh, concurrent downloads, I say that I can do two downloads at a time. This gets, you know, I mean, this is just kind of a matter of personal preference. I just 
how long do you want to wait for the downloads to happen um, streaming continuous play loop lists I mean all, look at all these functions uh, force landscape video if you want to turn it sideways you can turn it sideways if you're doing video podcasts and looking at that um, you can lock the screener I mean it's just almost too many options it's just super customizable any way that you want it really really helpful um, and my recommendation there's way too much just to go through even in a single basic tutorial but it's definitely something that you should just play around with see what's working for you what doesn't work um, and use the parts that you want and you know skip over the parts that you don't want so that's kind of your basic overview of downcast uh, it's really simple to use really utilitarian uh, you can customize it if you want to you can just leave it how they give it to you I highly recommend it it's worth the two dollars uh, the value that I've gotten out of it has been insanely more than two dollars <laughs> way way happier with it than I was with the Apple uh, podcast app and I think you will be too um, give it a try see what you see what you think uh, download it come back to edtech.tv give us your review on the comments uh, you know, I want to hear what you have to say. If you if you like it, if you think there's a better one out there, let me know. Maybe we can take a look at that one. Um, really hope you found this useful. As always, if you liked it, go ahead and push the like button uh, down below. That helps us out. Um, you know, leave comments. I'm happy to kind of go into some of the details for you in writing. If you if you feel like I missed out or skipped over a part that was uh, a little more detailed than than I gave you, so. Uh, we're here for you. Messages. We're also, of course, always at uh, edtech.tv and at edtechprincipal on Twitter. Talk to you guys soon.